in Fora, Brazil, the Amazon rainforest is home to the Zinju River. The riverbanks are home to 18 different ethnic groups and 40,000 indigenous people. Communities rely heavily on the river for their food, water and transport. However, due to the construction of the Bella Monte Dam, their home environment is currently being destroyed. This construction is accompanied by widespread deforestation. Belo Monte Dam reservoirs are predicted to flood 400 square kilometers of the rainforest, displacing thousands more. Up to 80% of the Zinju River will be redirected from its natural course, causing a permanent drought for indigenous communities living downstream. Not only will drought limit their access to important resources, but stagnant water will give rise to waterborne diseases such as malaria. This dam complex is expected to cost over 16 billion US dollars and transmission lines 2.5 billion. This project is being developed by the state-owned company Electra Norte and will be funded largely by the Brazilian Development Bank. Based on a cost-benefit analysis done in 2006 by Conservation Strategy Fund, initial benefits appeared marginal. With the use of modeling systems to simulate energy benefit, it became clear that Belo Monte would require additional upstream dams for water storage during dry season generation. It was concluded that Belo Monte would not be sustainable without the construction of the Altamira Dam, which would have a reservoir 10 times bigger than the Belo Monte's, flooding 30 times the area as well, including indigenous territories. Due to lack of interest from private investors and economic viability, government has relied heavily on pension funds and lines of credit from the Brazilian Development Bank, drawing from the Workers' Assistance Fund to finance the project. Up to one-third of the project's costs would be financed by incentives using public money. The prognosed reservoir area for the Bella Monte together with the necessary Altamira Dam will exceed 6,500 square kilometers of rainforest. Some of the adverse effects of these dam constructions include less vegetation and natural areas with flora and fauna changes, as well as changes in the quality and path of the water supply including fish migration routes. Another problem is the disruption of the water supply in the Zinju River Bay for about 7 months. Another major problem is the risk of extinction of hundreds of species as the dam construction and explode disruptions are incapable of maintaining species diversity. The National Amazon Research Institute calculated that within its first 10 years, the Belo Monte Dam complex would emit 11.2 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent and an additional 0.783 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent during connection to the national energy grid. This study estimated greenhouse emissions of an amount that would require 41 years of optimal energy production from the Belo Monte Dam to become environmentally sustainable over fossil fuel energy. Dams in Brazil emit high amounts of methane, which is a more potent greenhouse gas than CO2 due to the last jungle covered by waters each year as the basin fills. A 1990 study of the Curua Una Dam in Brazil found that it pollutes 35 times more in carbon dioxide equivalent than an oil power plant which generates equal amounts of electricity. This emissions were however not in the form of CO2 as in the oil power plant, but as the more dangerous methane gas. A 
A report by World Wildlife and Brazil was released in 2007 stating that Brazil could cut electricity demand by 40% by the year 2020. This could be done by investing in energy efficiency. Power saved would be equivalent to 14 Belamonte hydroelectric plants and would result in national electricity saving of up to 19 billion US dollars. Large dams such as the Belamonte are thought to be unnecessary in meeting the government's goal of 6% growth per year. Instead, Brazil could grow through increasing its already installed capacity in wind power, which is currently only at 400 megawatts. You could help by signing petitions that go against the construction of the Belamonte Dam. This could even be done online. You could also help by donating to non-profit organizations supporting the schools, such as Human Rights Watch, World Wildlife Fund, and International Rivers. Finally, you could raise awareness about the issue, giving this cause a voice and getting the message out there.